The other day, I saw a video trending of rappers Sukahana and Sexy Red gyrating and, I guess, twerking on two white men. Now, if you don't know anything about those ladies, good for you. And in some cases, I envy you because you don't know who they are. But nevertheless, as I watched them behave in such a lackluster manner, I wondered if they ever heard the story of Sarah Bartman, the black woman from Africa who was taken and put on display by white men all over Europe where people can pay their money to gawk at her because she was very voluptuous. She had a uh, very big breast, hips and buttocks. And to them, they thought she was some sort of a, you know, like an eighth wonder or something like that. And they nicknamed her hot and tot Venus, right? She was supposed to mimic the God goddess of fertility and all of that but they were making a buck off of putting her on display. And it is also said that uh, she died between the ages of 25 and 26, but uh, it is said that she had a whole host of ailments and diseases, including syphilis, because it is said that those white men sexually abused her along the way. And it is also said that one of the men that was in control of her was an animal trainer. So they had an animal trainer working with Sarah, abusing Sarah, putting her on display and a whole host of things. Now it should be said that it was in 2002 that Paris, France, a museum there decided to acquiesce to the demands of people who said that uh, she should not be on display. Her remains should actually be buried where she originated from, which was Koi Koi. Um, a place in Southwest Africa. And so they did uh, allow that to happen. And so um, that was a good thing that her uh, body and her remains and you know her soul could finally be at rest. But when I think of Sukahana and Sexy Red, I wonder if they knew the story of Sarah Bartman, would they change their minds? Because they are on display. They are on display for white supremacy, white supremacy, that those record companies pay them a lot of money to do the most uh, degrading things possible, passing that off as the regular uh, behavior of black women. And it is not the regular behavior of black women. But I, again, I wonder if they knew, would they have a change of heart? I don't know, y'all tell me. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.